Hey guys, Max2015 here, it's Hammerman Day, and I wanted to show that really quick with you guys before I have to rush to work right now. Um, so I read briefly in the forums that it seems that there was something changed in the Hammerman event. I don't know what it is, I haven't gone into it yet, so I wanted to find that out with you guys in here. Um, before we get into that, I'm, I'm going to have to change my layout to this one. Oh, I didn't save this one yet, let me just save it. Save. And then we can go in here and load. And of course, there's a few obstacles because it's been a week since we did this. Uh, nope. There we go. So the only new thing here is the grappler, which I am going to put right about in there. I really don't know where else to put it. Um, I guess I'll put a rocket in the front. Move the cannon a little closer. Not like I think it'll make a big difference. I mean, when you have six ice statues and four of them are boosted, I mean, Hammerman is pretty easy. Let me just put it here nicely so you guys can see it. Get rid of that tree. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So four, four statues boosted, four ice boosted. Uh, let's just get straight into it. And and towards the end, I wanted to show, show you guys something also. So here we go. This is the first fleet. Nothing seems different so far. Everything looks about the same. Typical fleet going on. Uh, the first, first, second, or probably the third uh, waves are going to be really easy. So I'm not expecting much struggle here. Um, Alright, so so far nothing's changed. I mean, all I saw in the in the forums that someone had written out oh, Supercell was really sneaky about it. So I don't know what they were being sneaky about or if anything was changed at all, but we'll find out. So that was the first stage, right? Nothing's changed. I mean, one, one fuse, one intel. Looks about average. Uh, let's go for the second one, which also kind of looks typical. So tanks and heavies, a lot of heavy shielding and troops. Um, oh, look at that grapple just taking the tanks. Although the, the, the downside is that one, for every big troop that the grappler takes, it distracts all the defenses around it. So you see those boom cannons, they kind of turn away for a second there. So I'm not sure how that works to the advantage of light base. But, but you know, the grappler is what it is. And we're just here to enjoy the show. A lot of zookas, but they're not really going to last. Oh, oof, one zooka left. There you go. And that grappler was on its way to, you know, take the Zuka into the base. Uh, so that was the second wave, which is done. Everything is, still looks pretty average. Uh, it's the same message from always. So now we have t uh, tanks, grenadiers, the years. And rifles coming in. Uh, let's see. I know I mentioned it before, but Hammerman really is my favorite event. Ever since I put down the ice, it's just so easy. It's pretty much free prototype parts. Um, well, not free because you're paying to be rated. But still, it's, it's my favorite event. You don't really have to stress over it. You just can kind of watch and see how your base performs, which is pretty fun. Um, yeah, see, for every rifle that that grappler takes away, the, I think there's a flamethrower that kind of turns around. So, so maybe the grappler is not the best defense in there. I'm only giving it a trial. Uh, I've, I've, I'm pretty sure once once it expires, I'm going to switch back to a, a Shock Blaster 3. Alright, so we made it to the fourth wave. The fourth, stage four, whatever you want to call it. Nothing seems to have changed so far. Uh, man, watch those, those warriors just go so quickly. And then even though there are a few medics, those cannons are just going to pick up all the tanks, one by one, single shots. A ton of Zookas coming in, but again, with no meat shield in front of them, it's kind of porn. It's like, oof, oh, just a shot launcher, kind of took an entire group of them in there. Nice. Oh, another wave, rifles and Zookas. The rockets will make short work of that very quickly. Right there. I always put the, the flamethrowers in the front also because, you know, they'll just cream every any rifle that comes along. 
almost there. A couple more rifles. And now we're done. Great. So that was wave stage 4, I think it was. Right? Yeah. I mean, so far I haven't seen anything different. I wonder what, what they we're talking about. Nothing's changed. Hmm. Tank and Scorcher. That's kind of new. Let's see. A lot of rifles and one Scorcher. So I know the rockets will take care of the rifles quickly. I need the those boom cannons to finish off that Scorcher quick. Um, I'm pretty confident about it though. I'm not really stressed out yet. More rifles and tanks coming in to join. Oh, the Scorcher just went down. I didn't even... I kind of stopped paying attention to it. So. Alright, so a ton of rifles, but those flamethrowers are just making short work of them. They're gonna just be smoked so quickly. Alright, so what I'm noticing so far is for stage 5, it looks like this This is a lot of waves. How many waves? Were like three waves of troop coming in? Is that the standard? I'm a little confused now. Oh, those flamethrowers. So overpowered. Okay, I think that was the last of it. Ooh, I'm gonna tango into the center of the HQ. I'm done. Alright, so that was stage 5. We got two more to go. 480 rifles. That seemed like a lot of rifles. Yeah, that was stage 5. So now we're going to stage 6. Alright, so... The only thing I'm noticing different now is that it seems like they're sending a ton more rifles. Ooh, rifle medics. As my friend Gaz is a former favorite troop combo there. Alright, come on. Come on, get rid of these guys. Flamethrowers, do your magic, shot launchers. Alright, good. Second wave coming in. Pure riflemen. It's like riflemen heavy here. I like to see riflemen. They go down pretty quickly. Man, they're not even touching the flamethrowers. I wish I had shown the hammer movement from last week when I had the hot pot. That hot pot, when it's boosted, was pretty insane also. Um, but overall, against um, PvP bases, uh, it didn't perform that well. So Again, I just wanted to give it a try because it was a new prototype weapon. But nothing too special. Ooh, a lot of grenadiers coming. Oof, it's getting serious now. I have to say, if, if my base wasn't so boosted with ice, Jesus, it would have wrecked me already. Oh my gosh. Alright, so it looks like they upped the difficulty on Hammerman. Yeah, I mean, I'll, we'll, start, we'll still get through this one, no problem. But that's because I have six ice statues. Wow. Yeah, definitely a shock blaster would have done better than that grappler. I don't like how the... Uh, all the defense is kind of focused on the, the one troop that goes next to the grappler. Wow, well, stage 6 surprisingly tough. Look at my base. Back then, even stage 7 wouldn't, you know, make such a big dent. Uh, Alright, so... <laughs> ready? Will I get steamrolled? Alright, so yeah, there's a ton of troops now. Huh. Okay. Last wave. A lot of scorchers and tanks. That can be very problematic. If those boom cannons don't, don't get rid of that scorcher quick. Oh, the scorcher just went inside the base. Okay, never mind. I guess that's one good thing the grappler does. If you have troops like scorchers, once it brings them in, they're pretty much dead troops, so nice. That was just the first wave, and they already made a big dent into the base. There's still five tanks left. I need those boom cannons to finish them off because. Look at that big chunk of rifle zookas coming in there. Oh, mortars. Yes, mortars to the rescue. Flamethrowers coming into play. Everything is dying in there. I love it. He's throwing the most pointless barrage in the world. Up to the sniper tower on the top. A ton of zookas coming in though. So I need... I still have my three rockets in, on, uh, in play, so they'll take care of that. Man, no stop. And I think there's another one. <gasps> wow. Alright, this hammer might have been really tough now. Holy sh Wow. Okay, I think I don't th even think we're gonna beat it. Is this the last wave? If there's another wave bef after this, there's no way we're gonna beat it. My god, look at the troops, they're already steamrolling my ass. Jesus. 
Come on, guys. Wow, so many rockets. I mean, so many rifles. They're all shooting at my HQ. Oh, man. I'm, I'm relying solely on the one rocket launcher to get rid of all these rifles. And there's like an orgy of medics working in there. Wow. I don't think this is going to happen. Jeez. <laughs> Shot launcher, they need to stop halting some of these guys. Fortunately, my shield is holding up, so... But there's still a lot of troops shooting at me. Alright, I think we're gonna get this. Alright, the, the troops are really thinning down nicely. That was super difficult. Holy moly, wow. Alright, that's what they meant with Supercell being so sneaky about this game. About this particular event. Man, they made it so difficult to handle. Jesus. Look at my base. So assuming, I'm gonna guess if you only have what, two eye statues, you, you probably have a much tougher time than I did. Maybe you'll probably need either uh, double shields would probably help, or definitely a shock blaster or, or a hot pot. Hot pot behind the HQ would have done wonders for you. Man, that was tough. That was really fun though. Like I would say, it's always been my favorite event, so that was really nice to go through those stages. So, Hammerman. Alright, so before I end the video, guys, I wanted to share a replay from last night because I thought that was pretty cool this one here um, it was a pretty tough base I beat him with uh, heavy zooka they took me a few tries as you saw there uh, six ice statues four of them boosted so I did the let me just make this a little quicker smoked this the heavy zooka all the way to the back I needed to gather a little bit of gunboat energy in the front and then smoking was tricky because he put all the big buildings in the front which meant that I had to throw the smokes very carefully because you can see how they walk on both sides of that iron mine. And on, on a few of the previous attacks, I kind of missed the smoke and a lot of my troops kind of got killed there. So really sneaky base. Very tough, especially with the six boosted ice. Um, also, I had to fl flare to the mortar in the front because I need the heavies to be up on the top. Because if I flare to the uh, flamethrower down here, the rocket launcher on the upper left ended up killing all my Zooka. So there was a much tougher bait than, than I thought. Um, you can see how my troops are really thinning down there. and I, I won this by miracle and you'll see why. So the Zookas were doing a really great job up until this point and then once all the heavies died, that one shot from the shot launcher right there. It just paralyzed all of my troops and look at them, they were just all dying. There's mortar shells flying, there's rockets flying and this was just there was just one Zooka who took that last shot and finished the HQ, but I lost all of my troops. Super, super tough base. Took me a lot of tries, but I was just got I was able to beat it. Um, and I wanted to share that with you guys because that doesn't happen often that I beat a base and I lose all my troops. Um, so let me put this back in the corner base before I get raided. All right. All right, guys. So that was it. Um, the Hammerman event today. That was pretty fun. Super tough now. So um, I'll be excited to see what, what troops it brings in future events. So we'll see. In the meantime, guys, keep on booming. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.